I'm Peter, and welcome to another edition of F5 Dev Central's Lightboard Lessons. Most of us are hybrids. I'm Hawaiian and Portuguese with a little bit of British and old time Shogun. We have hybrid corn, hybrid cars, hybrid clouds, and many organizations are turning to hybrid infrastructures and hybrid environments to deliver their applications. A hybrid environment allows organizations to distribute their applications and services when it makes sense and also provides global fault tolerance to the entire system. A hybrid approach is more a, a technology strategy. It's not about ripping and replacing your existing infrastructure. It's really about integrating resources into your existing environment. So let's light up how big IP can help facilitate hybrid environments. So let's see, out here, we're gonna do your customers. We got our bad guys, the attackers, ooh. And then we have your remote employees. And they come here and we'll just draw kind of the router, if you will, the internet. Off here, I'm just gonna draw out a little SaaS app, maybe Office 365, for instance. And then we come here and we have our data center. Now this could be your primary data center. It could be your physical data center. And so the connections come in and the first tier, tier one, tier one, would be your big IP DNS or GTM for you old schoolers and AF. M. Now what this does here in tier one, which terminates the connections in the DMZ, it'll do your DNS, your global DNS name resolution, but also protect against layers three and four types of attacks coming in. So we're talking, you know, sin floods and ICMP attacks and those sorts of things, along with protecting your DNS, any um, DNS amplification attacks, for instance. So we move from tier one into tier two. And in between those would be your internal employees, those that are already on the corporate domain, the internal network, your LAN. And on tier two, tier two is all about uh, high availability, application delivery and AAA services, authentication. And so in tier two would be your local traffic manager, your LTM, along with Access Policy Manager, your APM. And then off here, let's just draw a little user store. There, your data, your user database. And then we move on to tier three, and this would essentially be your, your database tier, tier three. And back here, we would have something called Application Acceleration manager and we'll get to that why that's important there and then on the back end here could be you know all your applications and storage and other such things so in your primary data center you may have legacy applications that'll never move to the cloud they weren't written for the cloud you may have some sensitive materials data applications that you just want to maintain control over but this is your primary way that you deliver your applications out and so next Let's then draw the secondary data center. And this could also then just be your highly virtualized environment. And in this situation, we're gonna replicate what we have on top, T1 users, a little longer line, tier two, and then tier three, database stuff. And in this instance, in a highly virtualized environment, you certainly don't need the big IP platforms, the hardware. In this instance, you would just put your virtual additions of the exact same thing. You know, it's all in parallel. So it really provides that fault tolerance and that high availability within your primary data center, pairs all the way down. And then from a global perspective and from a facility perspective, now you have that redundancy from data center to data center. And so now we got our, our two build outs 
um, going. And then the third one, let's just put right down here, you may have some cloud resources, your uh, cloud hosting provider. Maybe it's for storage, maybe it's for caching, whatever the case may be. And in here, we would also have some virtual additions on the end. So whether it be your customers or employees, they come in, they get their DNS resolution, and you're also protected against the attackers. Customers, your public websites are highly available for your customers. You don't have to worry about any downtime, that mythical five nines out there, which is something like, I think, five minutes of downtime. So we got your customers taken care of. For your employees, they're allowing them access plus authentication and high availability to workplace productivity tools. And some of those workplace productivity tools might be a SaaS application, might be out in the cloud. You might think, oh no, I don't do any cloud. But if you're doing SaaS, you're doing cloud. And in this instance, the APM can do a SAML assertion, can be an identity provider. So when the employee requests a SaaS resource, APM will authenticate them and then direct them back to their proper resources out there in the cloud. Now for the administrator on tier three, one of the key points in all of this is making sure that your data is in sync, that it's replicated properly and up to date in your multiple locations. And so here on the back end, we have our administrator. And in this situation, the application acceleration manager between two big IPs, you can actually create, set up a secure, optimized, and encrypted iSessions tunnel between two big IPs. And that will then allow you to replicate your data across country, around the world, to ensure that all your data is up to date, no matter where your customers or employees, check them off, are coming from. So it, it you know, does uh, deals with high latency lines and packet loss and all those sorts of things to ensure that the data is up to date. And then finally with the, with the cloud and the DNS resolution, there may just be instances where depending on the application or depending on the request, the DNS will send them down to the cloud resource. And so really this is all about the flexibility and the ability to scale, to expand and, and retract back, expand out when you need capacity. And the couple of things that you only really need to scale are the resources. So stuff in waiting, whether it's you know by the hour, by the minute, or just sitting in the dark somewhere, to have the resources available to then scale to. You need an intelligent controller like an ADC like Big IP, to know what's going on with the applications um, back here. And now, it, if you don't know, LTM can communicate with Big IP DNS. LTM will know the health of the applications. We'll let DNS know, uh-oh, stuff's going on back there. Start redirecting people to the secondary location. And so the resources that are available, an intelligent controller to know when problems are happening and where to find those additional resources. And then of course, boom, 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 the connectivity to then be able to get to those resources. Hybrid is the new normal. And as long as you tell Big IP where the application is, Big IP will deliver the application. So your customers are taken care of, your employees are taken care of, your administrators are taken care of, and the bad guys are kept out. A light board lesson on how Big IP can help in your hybrid environment. From all of us at Dev Central, please check out our other light board lessons. If you like this light board lesson, you can click the thumbs up box right below me. And from all of us here at Dev Central, thanks for watching. See you next time.